Hi everyone, welcome to my tech channel. This is the first part for Jumpture Notes series. If you want uh, this tutorial uh, for beginners, absolute beginners, if you are interested in Blender tutorials, subscribe and support us. Thanks. So let's get started. Just first of all, you need to hover over your mouse cursor over Jumpture Notes and click on it to open up this workspace for Jumpture Notes as shown here. We have this you now active for this part is uh, this part is spreadsheet to show some interesting values for some adjustment and uh, detailing for what you have doing in this workspace. This workspace is uh, going to show up just the notes as shown here, and you can see just Jim Chino editor uh, over this part over here, and we have uh, here. What we call this 3D viewport as shown here, and each uh, its uh, button ready to to be clickable. So this time, I have a bunch of great tools for Jumpchain nodes. So select the, the default cube in order to show the in the spreadsheet in the spreadsheet different values for position and changing position all over the different axes as shown here. The mesh. And the composition of the mesh, the curve, point load instances, and so on. Uh, just first of all, you need to use notes, browser node tree to be, and if you want, and you can use shift A to add uh, some notes. And all notes are uh, categorized and classified in different categories. For example, for attribute kind of uh, note, the color the curve if you want also have a bunch of different and very amazing tools use it for notes as shown here just click on new in order to show up these two notes which are connected and you can call this the beginning of the universe which is the output node and the input node it's like uh, dark matter which is very interesting to create to create the, for example, the basis, for example, you can see the, ba the basis of all objects and you can control all objects in Blender using this geometry nodes technique. First of all, we need, uh, we need to make some uh, changes and we add some uh, important notes and join them in order to show you something very interesting and to see if you want to start off and that's very clear for you so just for example let's try the the node set position for example it's a pretty simple node shift a then go over here to search box then you should retype set position as shown here. Search for set position. Drag it uh, in between these two vertices as shown here. But uh, nothing, nothing is going to happen because we, this node is just to set position and to change to transform to translate your cube vertices and everything you want. Just if you want to make it uh, going to be translated or this is gonna be uh, dragging it say like this along different axes as shown here the axis y axis as you can see over here this this is for this node just for change your position of your object for example in our case here it's a default cube here is also a bunch of uh, great shortcuts if you want to uh, just uh, if you want to disable this uh, node just hit uh, N key in order to you can hit N key in order to disable it and H in order to collapse it like this as shown here by pressing uh, H key again you can uh, enable it like this and by pressing X, this is going to be deleting this node. So Ctrl Z to undo the action. Just let's go forward to show you other great and important features for nodes. But here is another uh, another shortcut which is Ctrl X. 
just to delete the just to delete the node just to delete the node as shown here so let's try it control x is gonna be making this uh, the output node and the input node uh, to be connected and just deleting the node in between them so uh, let's see the next uh, random value node it's a great node in order to randomize the position of uh, different elements that are gonna be making this cube as shown here so uh, shift uh, a to search for random value random value as shown here click and drag it to the bottom of the this node search for set position node as shown here set position drag it onto this node as shown here as you can see for this uh, value just uh, the function of this uh, value it's a uh, diamond it's a different than selection position because we have many different uh, functions for this so let's uh, change it to vector because we, are, we will connect this uh, value this socket to, to another socket of vectors and you can see this uh, changing in the position changing in the position of different vertices of this cube shown here there is another function for this random value now as shown here you can play with this value in order to make uh, this random shape as shown here the minimum the maximum and also for uh, different values the seed if you want to change it is going to be changing the form that you want for this uh, random shape uh, due to the default cube so this time let's try to subdivide how to sub subdivide this uh, shape uh, just using uh, geometry nodes and we have a node for that which is uh, subdivide, m subdivide mesh shift a then search for sub subdivide subdivide mesh shown here just drag it in between because uh, you should uh, notice that uh, the input, the socket in between these two nodes, is uh, this uh, green, uh, this green circle. Also for this, and the other shape is subdivided. You can also delete this uh, part of this node over there. You can't change the level, set the level for subdividing mesh. As you can see here, it's uh, not clear that, it's, that this cube is subdivided. It's set to level level 3, so to show that, just hit Z key, go over uh, our frame mode and click. As shown here for the level 1, it's subdivided. It's going to be making much more subdivisions on surface for this cube as shown here. Thanks for watching, see you in next tutorial to continue this uh, Jumpshare Notes series uh, and there are great tutorials for you if you are interested, thanks for watching.